here's some guy. <laughs> now, I know when I say some guy, you think, well, it's a wrestler or maybe it's a future star. There's some guy. He's working at the butcher counter or the deli counter or whatever. Oh, God. And he looks at the camera. I remember this. And says, you won't believe this. You won't believe you came into my shop and ordered a six-foot sub. It was The Undertaker. And he tells the whole story. Are you sure you ordered a sub? I thought he just wanted the bread. He said something about a wedge. A six-foot wedge? He wanted a six-foot wedge. I don't know what the hell that is. Well, what happened is there's this guy behind the counter. This is this is a key. He goes, the Undertaker walked in. I couldn't believe it. He was so big. As I'm about to sneeze here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're waiting. We got four fucking people that could talk right now, so I'm trying not to sneeze. I'm, waiting for the sneeze. I'm watching you holding your I didn't nose. want to interrupt you. All right, so this guy is behind the counter. Thick New York accent. And he explains, you're never going to believe it. The Undertaker came in here. I couldn't believe it. He was so big. And he ordered a six-foot wedge. And I put that wedge on the counter. And I turned around and... I don't know what he turned around to, to get do. some pickles. He said, and I turned back around, and he's gone. And Oof. I thought, a shoplifter. Yeah, he th- stole. He fucking stole a six foot wedge, and he got away with it because he's the Undertaker. A wedge is a hero sandwich, by the way. Is that what it is? Z. Long sub. He there ordered a six foot fucking sandwich, yeah. not a six inch, six foot. Yeah. And then took it and disappeared. Apparently without paying. By you the way, you know how much a six foot fucking sandwich would cost you. I'm not sure we can find that out. How much, Brian? I don't know. Six times as much as a foot long. No, probably more than that, I bet. Because you got to have special. Dominic's bread. S&D Caterers has a six-foot Italian or American hero, $137.94. 137 fucking dollars. Undertaker showed up and stole it. And then the guy's like, it's fucking awesome. Walmart has it for 30 bucks. I was like, God damn, you know, man, <laughs> you if go. you're famous, what you should do is vanish and then just show up and steal food everywhere. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Maybe now, that's what Elvis did. Now, this guy who was... That would make sense, actually. It'd be in character. He faked his death, and then he showed up a bunch of delis and fucking stole food. <laughs> and guys were starstruck. That this <laughs> dead Elvis had walked in. All banana and peanut butter. Sure, yeah. wasn't Nikolai Volkov stealing food? Um, for a guy working in a deli or the butcher shop, he was holding the knife by the blade end <laughs> yeah, the entire time. Sure he was. was clutching it. <laughs> he wasn't holding it. He was squeezing yeah. it. That what? was weird. Yeah. Well, maybe he was in trouble because Undertaker bizarre. stole a six-foot sandwich. This is It only went maybe 30 seconds or 40 seconds, but it was so bizarre start to finish. This is how they're getting us excited for the Undertaker's return. Well, they're letting us know he's not dead. Well, he's alive and stealing sandwiches <laughs> in the Bronx. <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly what happened. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. (laughs) It doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune mm-hmm. and by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.